Sludge Warlock is the best deck after the set came out, both in Top 1000 Legend as well as from Diamond to Legend, so it's definitely worth knowing how to play with and against this top meta deck. In this video I will go over the deck real quick, show its mulligans, win rates, as well as some general tips, so if you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget you can hire me for some Hearthstone coaching. Now let's check out the deck. You are not prepared! Here's what the situation looks like right now, and yeah, we have so many different iterations of Sludge Warlock basically uh, occupying top spots. Like, look at how many different variations are above 60%, literally the entire first page, with more than 30,000 game sample size, and this is from the mini set alone. We can also see the same from uh, top 1000, here's the best performer there. And yeah, it's looking very, very solid, with this variant is running the location, it's also running the big... Uh, forge card with which can be pretty powerful both forged and discarding it can also be utilized like that and uh yeah all around the deck is just insanely good definitely should know how to play it here's the variant we used and in order to include the steam cleaner as well as a couple of weapons we had to remove one geode one tour guide and the soul freeze but yeah all around the deck felt pretty pretty powerful very very strong stuff like uh, you damage yourselves with all sorts of different ways with your flame imps with your fatigue package with your hero powers and you get the heal back to basically full with the help of uh, things like your weapon your popgar plus uh crescendo combo is also very powerful heal way for you and yeah these imprisoned horrors were dropping pretty quickly as soon as turn four five usually for zero mana we're not running the location in this one which i personally really liked but all around we managed to climb a lot with this one as well so it's definitely worth checking out like this and also the steam cleaner helps both against the uh, plague death knights but you can also use it to discard your uh, shuffled sludges as well, especially against Plague Death Knights, because when you shuffle those sludges at the bottom, once they shuffle some plagues, they're no longer at the bottom. So even if you play something like Chaos Creation, you're not guaranteed to even get one of those sludges. Whereas with the Steam Cleaner, that deletes both the plagues and the sludges wherever they are, and that is a ton of damage, as you're gonna see in one of those games. For the matchups I'm gonna use a similar list, and here's what the matchups look like. And you are gonna be great against most of the popular ones, so that's great, but Plague Death Knight definitely still felt a problem, even with the decked in uh, Steam Cleaner. As for the Mulligan, here's what the stats show. Going first and second, Salesman and Baritone Imp are always gonna be great. A Tour Guide ain't bad, Disposal Assistant is super good, Sludge on Wheels is also nice. And that's probably about it, like, you don't really want to overkeep too many things, even though if you're curving into a crazed conductor that also might be a consideration, and Popgar might also make sense in certain matchups. As for on the coin, again, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, disposal, Sludge, Baritone, Crazed a lot better here, Waste Remover can also be something you coin out. Trolley Problem can also be worth considering, especially against board-centric matchups. Tour Guide is still fine, Miracle Salesman is okay, and the rest probably not as much, even though Popgar and heck even Crescendo uh, might make some sense, but it's a little bit niche. All around that's it for the deck, it's far from expensive, you only have Popgar in here and not that many epics as well. So it's definitely budget friendly, and as you saw, anything sludge is just top 60%, so very very good stuff. Very surprised that it didn't get nerfed from the last batch, but uh, this is the reality we are in right now, so might as well utilize it. Now let's check out some of the games from the last coaching session we had on stream. Hope you enjoy. So I can share you my screen and we can look at the best performers right now, so we can uh, make an educated decision, you know? I'm not here pretending to know. Sure. Uh, what the best list is i'm just looking at the stats i'm a stats slave guys that's all i am it's just how you use those stats okay so this is from the latest expansion came out we have win rates small sample sizes here's the first respectable sample size and this one is running things like symphony of sin it's a lot different than yours it's not running the flame imps it's not running the giants uh it is definitely interesting it does it does run finley i'm assuming so you can swap out the symphony um, but, uh, it's quite a bit different than what you're used to, so there's that. There's also this one, pretty big sample size. This one does run the Flame Imps. It's also running the... No, it's actually not running the weapon here, which is kind of weird. A lot of damaging situations, but no flip, no uh, weapon kind of... Kind of likes to live dangerously, this one. It's running the yep. Geo, oh. which is a questionable card. The lists you're enjoying with the Imprisoned Horror... Here is a list with respectable sample size and win rate. And this one looks pretty close to what you're using. Soul Freeze. I wonder if that's going to come in handy. Definitely sounds like an OP card. 
couple of geodes. That sounds questionable. There's no location in this one, which I find very disturbing. No supply. I mean, we have supplies in this one, which is weird. Honestly, just proves how broken this deck is. So many different iterations of it with uh, crazy win rates. Yeah, I think this is actually the one you're using. Again, no location though. What the fuck is up with that? Feels like location is so busted yeah. in this one. The, the, this is definitely the one which I'm using, which No Hands gave me uh, mm. some time ago, uh, like two days ago, I think. But I did mm. adjust it one, uh, as, as I told you, one uh, one geode for one uh, simcino, just because it's like quite good against Death Knight. Death Knights yeah, are that's quite the thing. It's supposed me. to be. A, oh, it's not a good matchup. This particular list. The bigger sample size lists show it to be a good matchup, like this one, for instance. Yeah, look at that, Plague DK56. I saw another with 53. I don't know, maybe maybe it is a bigger problem than I'm anticipating it to be, but yeah, I guess. Thing is, you could even use your waste remover to, to burn out plagues. I don't know, that, I don't know. That, that's true, however, it doesn't quite uh, often uh, work. Mm. Just because it's... Uh, Switches plugs in, uh, plugs in my... Uh, yeah, that's uh, also a thing. Deck. Okay, we can use the one you're uh, comfortable with. I can't really right. make a, a good enough decision here for what we should be going for according to the stats. Yours seems to be close enough, so let's go ahead and do that then. Rook is usually easy matchup. Yeah, usually. nowadays they're around 56-57 win rate actually. Not as amazing. What are you thinking about this hand? I think that Disposal Assistant is the only card uh, I, sh I shall keep. Waste Removal is on 4, I'm not on coin, so it's like turn 4. I need early game, early tempo, it's aggro deck, it's not a uh, control deck. Yeah, going first, uh, it's actually quite low, same with the craze, so sure, let's just keep the two. I'm not gonna equip the Carp, I'm gonna count the damage which I'm getting to yeah, myself. So, yeah, it so makes sense with the horror list, first. definitely yeah. is the better option here. And yeah, whip it out, it does contest the potential 1 free. Sounds good to me. Okay. Our next minion is also going to be contesting his crap, so all around this stuff. I'm thinking about just playing uh, the assistant and go yeah. in the face. Might as well. Because, because he. It's yeah, not he's, that he's good the one that needs trade to trade here. Yeah. He's the one we that are... really wants to be making the trades. We have healing, we have extra damage, he has random BS. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's the benefit he gained uh, through that play, but still kind of whatever. Oh, he's running Gone Fishing. Wonder what that means for this deck now. I honestly have no idea. I've seen a pirate weapon rogue out there that could be running this crap, but it's, it's probably still... I did so far free dam damage to me. I would stop and play the salesman. Yeah, let's I don't see the tap. I don't have a reason for sludge. Yeah, uh, random board. card can just kill it. So yeah, empty board is not ideal. Let's see the hero power first and reevaluate our life choices. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, so gun fishing could be a wishing rogue, and it could also be a weapon rogue. Wishing Rogue is running the Kajamite, so so far we're considering this to be a Wishing Well Rogue. With the Velarok, Krabatoa, and Tess Greymane at the end. Here's interesting choice. I can also go to, for remover, remover and get uh, rid of two barrels, or, or I can play the Sludge on Wheels. Uh, actually trade the one free, uh, double trade the one free, and play the other salesman. I think I'm down for the latter option here. Like it's gonna load you up nicely for barrel of sledges for next turn with the remover. So yeah, sledge on wheels plus a one drop sounds cool. Double trade, right? 
I think so. I mean, like, uh, then again, what can he actually benefit from this? Like, uh, he could hero power and devil trade another one more best case, which is basically what we're doing right now. On the other hand, this is a good target for your 2 3, so maybe facing is not a bad idea. Like, it, it kind of makes sense to make the train, but it kind of doesn't benefit us. Uh, it's actually more beneficial if this thing actually remains there. Like, for all we know, he might not give us a good option here. Like, he might, ju he might just play Drilly and that just kills off the 2-4, whereas this one gives us extra slaps. Yep, so that's true. So yeah, a lot of the times when you're asking yourself, should you be making the trade, you gotta be asking yourself, what's the worst case scenario? And if there, if the worst case scenario is actually you making the trade, might as well not make the trade at all. Okay, well, that's a bummer, but we did what we could there. That's another barrel in my neck. Eh, could have been two, but... Yeah. To get all them di Oop. dehydrates. Okay. Crescendo is only one damage, so it's not worth. Mm. Uh, waste removal. The waste remover is huge for us right now. Like, this guy already used a couple of randomly generated good removals. So we're playing the waste remover in the middle. And a 2 2 is trading the 1 1, but I don't think it's worth trading the other 2, is it? Technically, you could make the trade and actually tradable, but maybe just equipping the harp is also not a bad idea. Even though think, we haven't think, taken that think, much damage on our turns. I think, honestly, I think I will double trading. I'm and not against uh, it. I'm not against it. Like because, it. because barrels will go face. Yeah, it's extra damage, but this way we retain an extra minion. But on the other hand, you're also drawing. So I think you can uh, trade the right one into the free 2 instead. And yeah, tradable, trade we'll see what that does. It's not like we have a zero mana spell, you could make the trade as well. Yeah. And that's 12 to the mouth. Not bad at all. Next turn we can load up even more with disposable. Nothing good for you here, buddy. Three? Nothing good for him. Yeah, shouldn't be. We're not in the business of having good cards for him. God damn it, I did something to my back today and at the gym. It's kind of pulling a little now. My upper ass. My Copy upper will... right ass. <laughs> Feels a Copy... little bit wonky. Hope you will get better soon. Yeah, for sure. I did I did some paint, um, painting yesterday, actually. Mm. For the first time on my own, like without help, of course. Mm. Yeah, sounds like a really cool hobby, man. Sounds like a very it's nice. Definitely it's definitely way more relaxing than... Oh, uh, show. <laughs> then again, what isn't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then again, when the bar is that low. Okay, <laughs> that's, he's doing the poor man's true, yeah. mining. Okay, do we have lethal here? We have oh. one barrel at the bottom. We have one from hand. We could even just Seven, disposable, eight, honestly. Uh, okay, I don't eight. Think... I think it's two off, isn't it? Yeah. Is there I a one that... mana spell that can help us? Not really. Okay, what are you thinking? Crescendo? To... Might as well even equip the That's weapon, right. and it's like at this point we're never. Yeah. That's losing true. this game, might as well guarantee that anyway. So, yeah, equip the weapon, crescendo, and uh, technically, right now, we only have one barrel at the bottom, so might as well play the disposable indeed. And I guess you could have started off with the tradable, but that's not really gonna change the way this turn is panning out. It's so weird, should... by the way, that tradable doesn't reshuffle our deck. Like, such a weird. Uh, Mechanic, does, you know. It does, but what what is weird that uh, it does reshuffle your deck, but well, some, uh, it really it, doesn't. It, it if the barrels will stay on the bottom of the deck, it's really giving you out for it. Like, I understand it, you there. Uh, 
if the if the trade will shuffle your deck and yeah. your bottom cards remain on bo on bottom cards deck tracker is showing you that they remain on bottom which is quite weird really oh well we take those against the shaman waka waka okay that's a nice sim rest is garbage I right i think trog is can't stay a uh, horror is not not with this hand if i had the one more fatigue, stay? really uh no no i'm i mean truck uh truck will go and ah. horror uh, horror yeah. i horror i was thinking about uh keeping but i got only one fatigue i mean Start, if the truck so... was a flame imp maybe but in this yeah. case like how the hell are we gonna drop him fast so just a bear down Maybe he was under the influence. Maybe he was under the influence and driving at the same time. That that could have been a solution. Yeah. Educated guess there. Yeah, salesman away. That was that was painful to look at, guys. Like that was some bronze stand action right there. Bronze stand. Even bronze stand plays better. I believe yeah. that even even the uh, even the people on the even the bots on the, you know, class yeah. uh, getting are actually better. They do tend to put up a fight. Still surprising how poorly we made that that game though, like seriously. That game was harder Nothing than it should else. have been. Okay, so this guy's a totem shaman. We can top deck the sludgy boy and double trade, right? Yeah. That's good enough. Yes, these guys were actually heavily favored. We're very good at clearing what they're dishing. Could coin out the 5 4 here. That'd be a bummer. But uh, we just barrel it if that's what he did. Okay, another excellent target for the Sludgy Boy. Not super excellent, but. Hmm. What are we doing actually? I'm not sure. I would actually go to regard here power and sludge. So many possibilities. Double trade the Isn't down. Isn't a couple of free frees better now? Like the crazed conductor sounds pretty good for me right now. Then again, I'm. I have to leave for the sludge and risk him devolve or do something alike. What? If I put it and I don't trade with uh, Sludge, because Sludge on 2-3... They don't really right? run Devolve though, like they don't run any of that nonsense nowadays, so I think we're safe. Worst case okay. scenario, he gives us a sing single Sludge, so we're just passing here. I think it's worth it. Contesting the board this way. The deck code is, uh, you can grab it from the add-on, dude. There's an add-on you can move around and you can, uh, there's a little copy button at the top of it. Okay. Jesus. That was brutal. No crescendo for us either. Should we start off with Tor Guide Hero Trade Power? Double. I think Tor Guide Hero Power. Less cards to work with on the tradable afterwards. Free damage crescendo would be brutal. Hey, look at that, brutal. We were ordering brutal, guys. And we got it. Yeah, fuck him up. I think first I would still trade. Because... Uh, I will... Use, I will use it anyways, but uh, just for the good measure. Okay, for the okay, yeah, we are doing that. Learning, like, yeah, fear, fears draw them, decide what to do Backs. kind of thing. Okay, we can even drop the idiot. Might as well even drop the flame imp, but uh, let me math a little. How much damage uh, can this man do? I mean, we're gonna be at healthy 17, sounds good to me. Drop the flame imp, drop the imprisoned. Only bad news is he can point out his titan next turn, but we're still gonna be left with a good chunk. Yeah, that was a brutal crescendo right there. 
Next gen chaos cr chaos creation could be lethal. I mean, what a board like this we have lethal right now. Uh. That's on board. Right? Pretty much. Cool. Well, let's see the random chaos creation. Let's see if we can actually get something bigger than a fucking 5-5. Five five. Three eights. Wow. First of its kind. Okay. Bobgar, no. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, true. Okay, against the priestical. I think Christian the can go because they don't uh, develop boards. Don't they though? Can... Don't they though? If this guy turns out to be the automation or the overheal bullshitter, they actually do play quite a few one trees. I mean, it, I mean, Crescendo it, is kind of pretty, pretty uh, OP to begin with because it's also fatigue amp up. So uh, with a perfect hand like this, I think you can keep the whole thing, can't you? Okay, yeah. Was more thinking about trying to find like a Barton Imp or something else. Well, that would have been to... perfect, but right now you have close to a perfect hand already. Oh, he has control. Well, that's a bummer. I guess Crescendo is useless now, but it's a 50% matchup for him anyway. Like 50% win rate back for him. Oh. Um, anyway, sail away. Thanks, man. <sighs> sail. Play one free, please. No. Uh, Should we just, just hear power? power? Yeah. Yeah. Because like well two, enough. two guys is not giving enough upside. Yeah. The thing about crescendo is it's also great with the pop guard turn where we're looking for lethal because it's a zero mana clear shit of, shit ton of damage. Oh, that's not bad. I think I just play it. Yeah. Tempo it out. Since Sludge doesn't have a target, at mm -hmm. least double free free. We got silences and shit. Time to light a fire under this town. Okay, yeah, that's the target Daniel. for Sludge. Yeah, pretty good one too. <sighs> Cheating. Oh, such a busted card. Heals for one. Is it the overheal idiot? Always has been. Oh, that's even a better okay. target for the Sludgy boy. Don't mind if I do. Um, mm -hmm. I think first to guide anyways and hero power and then blood. Are we ever Just considering a coin crescendo though? Feels kind of stupid, but it does amp up the craze conductor. We just top decked and it also makes your trades a lot better. I'm just thinking out loud basically, but I think it kind of makes sense in this uh, development. You do have another crescendo anyway, so... Yeah, let's just start this party going. And where's the sludge going? Do we value the 2 2 living? Might as well get the tradable. Like, he could have silence. I mean, yeah. You know? So, sludge kills the 1 2, 2 2 kills the 2 2. Yeah, we all. We all learn, RK. Teach a man to fish kind of deal right there. Okay, speaking for silence perhaps. They do have a new silence as well. The the combo silence deal two damage. Combo silence first bullshit. Silence, of course. Um, yeah, he's still button. looking pretty rough though. Like, he has literally a couple of cards there, so uh, wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Hmm. I think trade makes makes sense. Yeah, let's see the tradable. Hmm. If I do imp. Into crescendo, I can just 
I'll, I'll trade with Sludge. And I guess it's a point. little bit baity, but maybe it's worth trying to go like that. So Next turn, he has at 6 mana. That means he has access to 6 mana, 6 damage AoE plus 3-3 free free on the board. But let's just hope he doesn't have it. Like, odds of him having it are about 12%. So let's go ahead and do 12 that. 12% is not as much. Mm. And I want my damage yeah. for the... Uh, horse. If in next turn uh, I would get double horror, it would be perfect, really. In this yeah, scenario. It would be pretty nice refill indeed. So that's a cheeky way of learning uh, what state the AoE the priest has is. Like if it's on 6, it's always the even uh, AoE, aka 6 damage. Whereas on the odd turns, it deals 3 damage and summons a 6-6 six, six instead, so might want to remember that. No. Oh. Um, that's true. I wasn't playing quite a bit, so yeah, I it's, forgot it's a about... new awkward removal kind of deal. It, it works basically like Thaddeus. If you generate it, it always starts off I think with the even part, though. Not sure about that part, but sounds oh, about okay. right. I just very, very, very rarely see priests. Yeah. Usually, like decays or warlocks, mirrors. Yeah, priests are stuff like thank that. God a lot more rare sight. Yes, that's a bummer. We lost our second sludge. It's a bummer, I'm afraid. Uh, true, guide, true guide hero power up first, just to see. Uh, I think I did my, to myself 8. It didn't dealt any damage to me right now. And for yeah, now, okay, so... let's try with the tour guide. That's interesting, okay. but uh, mm. we can get more out of it later. Technically, we're not pressured into playing the trolley problem. Should we just play the fell harp and crazed? Or should we actually hold on to the harp for a potential finale workaround? I want to work around fin finale, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm, just co conductor, I'm considering right? conductor. Yeah, just conductor tempo sounds good. How's it going, Daniel? Okay, good news now is... No, there is no good news if he has 3 damage and summons the 6 is still absolute dog shit. Forges. Okay, shouldn't be able to play anything substantial this turn. Fuck is this even? Such a dumb. Discover a legendary priest minion from the past. Yeah, uh, as one does. Like Zyrella kind of thing? Or Illusia? Okay. Yeah, let's not think about those. Like, there's so many. Okay, what do you think we do? Uh, I think Sludge to get rid of for free. I mean, uh, isn't it a good idea to go with the Trog plus the Waste Remover at this point? I wonder. Waste Remover is going to burn a good chunk for us. But, uh, I mean, is that how we're doing it? We could even consider just the free free straight up. Like, odds of that fucking up the Trog. Kind of 50 50-ish. I mean, Not it's... Really. I mean, it's in our favor. Yeah, I yeah, would okay. do that. Tread the trog, put down the waste remover, and trog away, and face away. Okay. Could have Reno here, that'd be pretty shitty. Oh, what am I talking no. about? It's exactly full. <laughs> nice. Okay. I mean, he could have, yes. Yeah, he could have. <laughs> okay, against the Demon Hunter. Big Demon Hunter is actually uh, somewhat okay from Diamond to Legends, but we're still expecting this to be a Naga Demon Hunter. Now, those are some pretty sick two drops we got there. Could we keep the whole thing, actually? I'm thinking about it because uh, most likely he will get rid of uh, assistant and uh, remover will at least have two barrels. 
I'm down to keep the whole thing, yeah. A bit, of, a little bit too heavy on the two drops there, but there are more than two drops at the end of the day. They're a 3-3 three, three and a 4-4. Four, four. Plus, the barrels are also pretty nice. The barrel start, I think, here. Rainbow Death Knight is actually doing something no. okay uh, right now. Uh, Bariton Imp is better. I mean, uh, technically, with... we're not really going to advance all that much further. Uh, cause it's still a turn 4 where we're dropping crazed. I guess if you get a crescendo in the mix and really feel like playing it, I guess in that case, uh, rushing the baritone here. Yeah, sure, let's, let's baritone, sure. We could have 2 damage for all we know. I mean, even if not, uh, Conductor is... Growing, yeah, getting a 4-4 four, four next uh, turn definitely sounds like a good idea. We're not in a rush for the Disposal Assistant as much. He got rushed okay. though. We're happy with it. Um, yeah. uh, Ooh, that's gonna imp. be quick as well. Yeah, imp away. And now the premiere next turn if you top that claim imp, that'd be neat. That'd be a pretty crazy turn. On turn four. Okay, he's prepping. So far, he uh, doesn't uh, do much in terms of prepping, though. Like, he hasn't discounted. He hasn't. I mean, he's, he is gonna draw, but in terms of discounting, he ain't doing shit. I'm still down for the disposable here. It's completely safe. It's yeah. I, w I would simply consider any hero power here. Uh, yeah, but discount it of still wouldn't have discounted it enough. It still would have been one mana off from playing it next turn anyway, so might as well just go with the solid plan here. It's always worth to consider your option though. Oh, for sure. This guy's drawn a lot. He is gonna be very capable when the time comes, but we're gonna have a very solid board for that time. Problem is, he's going close to a turn 5, and uh, with Dispose of Evidence plus the Legendary spell, he can uh, clear the whole board of Free Freeze with the help of the new Legendary spell. That might be a bummer for us. Not sure why he's doing this, though. He is wasting a lot here. Is he planning on drawing a ton next turn as well? Hmm. I wonder if the Waste Remover is the better line here. Because, like I said, if he has another zero Dispose, plus the Legendary spell, that's a full clear. Whereas okay. Waste Remover always sticks. And also, if you force him to do the five mana spell on the turn after, he's not going to be very happy about that. So I think Waste Remover right now is the better play. It's a lot of damage as well. Little on the board. Mm. Let's see. Although he can go off with Nagas and actually he win. He could, he could, but he's kind of not prepared as much, even though he did discount the far left. But I still think he shouldn't be capable here. Problem is, we're also not capable of clearing. Okay, he does have the zero, so he could have had the legendary as well. He could have it discounted still. Oh, it's actually a four. Didn't realize. But yeah, this is why we played this way. Now he spent his entire turn dealing with this. And now the crazed conductor is gonna be sticking guaranteed. He doesn't have a way to remove the second one. Next turn we have some lethal fantasies. Should we heal here instead? Like, yeah, I know you like your imprisoned horror and whatnot, but I'm not sure it's really coming down to that. So might as well just get healthy here. Like, five health difference could definitely be uh, the tipping point for Naga DH nowadays. Five damage difference. I remember when I remember when on turn six. Fucking it wasn't quite. Okay, good news is we have Crescendo, so even if he pops off hard, we get the clear. 
on us he kills off. Nah, I don't think he's able to kill us here. Who's hiding now? Really nice Crazier spread. things was happening. Nah, he doesn't have really? discounts. And that's the chaos. Cool. Yeah, six mana chaos to the mouth. Yeah. Okay, let's take a two minute break. And it strong. Right back. Yo, oh, there's that power yeah. you were begging for. Uh, shall be mine. Yeah, last game. Not this. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, of creation, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's quite nice, actually. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about sticking to poker to at least turn five. Yeah, something like that. Mm. I mean, even if you coin out the Baritone, it's not like he's not gonna have the free damage for it again. He kept two cards, odds that are happening pretty high. I think you can keep the. I think we could keep the coin and just pass here next turn Baritone, turn after Crazed, maybe. Downside is he could have the free damage AoE, idiot, but. Can't do much about that. Yeah, I'm doing something about the stuff. Which can be in this game anymore, like it was worth of playing around things like two years ago, maybe eh, you still three years ago. Want to think about those things, but you know. yeah, yeah, uh, going out the conductor. Yeah, let's do that. Seems decent. Turn 4 trolley is not an option. Uh, I mean, it your power is, maybe. but you probably still don't want to be doing it. Okay, it doesn't have it. Let's fucking go. That could advance him. Never mind. That felt stupid as fuck. Why the fuck crack the pouch if you're just gonna spend the coin already? Maybe he is planning on coining something out next turn, but kind of felt wrong there. Jokes on you, we have weapons. Alright. I mean, if you hero power into a flame imp, that could drop you both the imprisoned. Is that what we're doing? That's true. I'm I'm thinking about Crescendo though. Um, like trading three four, uh, Crescendo and going six ways. But I guess should it's we just tempo out the pop guard this time for real for real? Yeah, mm. might be. He didn't have the free damage last turn, hopefully it continues. Yeah, Bob Gar Crescendo trade the free four. It also unlocks for us trolling. Which will discard actually a decent card for us instead mm. of. Oh, flip the full way. Stick a good board. Yeah. Doesn't kill the free one. Okay. Maybe he does have the free damage AoE. Well, um, that allows us to drop the fives. Yeah. So Although yeah, I'm still I'm still I mean, considering still trolling, it, but, but uh, we'll only drop one hmm. of the fives because there's no room. I mean, technically you could trade off the free one actually, 
I think that's actually kind of worth it. Yeah, trade out the free one, that's one extra damage and one extra 5 5 on the boards. It is wasteful in terms of resources, but it definitely sounds good in terms of uh, tempoing out the shit out of this man right now. Let's just hope he doesn't have the four of the free damage AoE plus Reska again, because that'd be shit. Yep. Free damage AoE, two mana free damage, and Reska would be the perfect answer to this board. That's not how that starts. That's free damage AoE though. And this is another free damage yeah, AoE. Indeed it was. Fuck. <sighs> Tossa! That's cool. Um. Kira Power Salesman Tosser, probably? I'm down, sure. Oh, I think that's better here. He used two free damages right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. it unlikely he has another. Mm. Chances are slim, but never zero. Yeah. Definitely. We're pretty high on the fatigue damage, already up to 6 on turn 6. Yeah. Luckily I still have 21 cards in the deck. Although some of them are pl plagues, so... Oh, he will heal now? Oh, uh, with the yeah, legendary? the Burrow yep. Buster already in the mix, so... Does indeed heal a bunch, but it's still fine though. We're still sitting quite well on this board with 12 damage represented. Second crescendo, you say? Is that lethal? Six, uh, lethal, right? 18. Uh, yes. We can also get the yes. tosser in the mix, so surely that's lethal, right? Yeah. Hero yeah. Power tosser. Uh, That's basically what I was uh, looking for, how to use Tulsa, because uh, without Tulsa it wasn't a little. Uh, oh. Okay, back on track. I, I was living in Carson when I was like top 200, I think. Yeah. Hey, there's so, those warlocks we were talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, now our, we are facing actually even worse matchup. Uh, ever throw the problem? I don't think so. Do we keep so. it actually? Yeah, I think it's a full toss. Thank you for the follow, Annie. Okay, a bit better, a bit better. Not by much. Oh. Now it's by much. Could you move this? Opponent? Um, uh, okay. hero power, I yeah. think. Might as well. Kind of thinking about uh, just tempoing out the sludge next turn. Against these guys, they don't really have a great way to clear it. Well, that's not a worst target in the world. We're down with it. Yeah, look at that. Could coin out his 7 7. That would be actually kind of scary. I mean, I'm still up for it. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm clearing it with my 7 7. Yeah, you are actually. I mean, I guess we can do that to him then. I'm not sure. Basi basically because of this reason that he can have 7-7. Seven, seven. Mm -hmm. um. Definitely don't have a much cleaner way of dealing with this, though. Yeah, that's true. So, was kind of considering just... Dice. I mean... 
Technically, you could baritone him plus disposal assist, and that's actually not bad because it does allow you that. I mean, the crescendo is still gonna be off though. Yeah. Mm. Although it allows us to top deck something better. Yeah, but I think you'd rather clear this board right now. Yeah, let's go with so... the seven. Okay. Still sounds like the adult thing to do if he has his. Sure, what we're gonna be doing, but we'll figure it out. Doesn't have it, so let's fucking go. Doesn't even clear it. Oh, damn, that's great. Any problem? That's a plus seven damage for us. Um. Mm -hmm. We could even crescendo and trap Gentosser if he didn't do this. Okay. Why would he? Not uh. sure. That was a weird thing to be doing. I mean, I guess he was like, what was he even afraid of? We don't have crescendo up that damage. No. I think Troy I plus Baritone or or the disposal, but Baritone allows us to get a crescendo board bigger. Without having to spend the mana. So this thing does by... give us sludge at the bottom, though. Might be worth it. Sure, sure. Disposable plus trolley is fine. How's it going, DJ? How's life? Okay. I guess he probably has crescendo of his own here. And now the Apparently doesn't. he doesn't. It's come quite evident to us he does no such thing. Is this lethal? Yeah, it is. Yeah, easy lethal actually. I was thinking more along the lines of Popgar Crescendo, double barrel, but it was both kind of lethals. Neat, neat. Because it, it definitely did play out very differently. It might be interesting to you to check it if you prefer that variant as well, because both are doing great, obviously. There's that Death Knight we're pretending the Steam Cleaner is going to help us with. <laughs> well, I mean, toss I, a toss. I do hope, yeah. I do hope that Sim Cleaner will actually well, eventually sure. help us. At some point in time and place. Uh Tour Guide is Yeah. I think Four about uh... Are we tapping already? Yeah, we have the horror I already, would. so might as well get the things before we have sludges in. Plagues that is. Assistant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks good to me. It's completely safe. It's all built. My pain doesn't compare to your play. Well, it's not the best target for the sludge on wheels, but then again, what is? Damn you, tossers. Yeah, sludge it up. I was kind of thinking about trolley problem, but you are right. I mean, it wasn't bad, but could be a lot better for us now. Getting pretty shitty against these guys with their free damage AoEs. The trolley is not super cash money for us, but still could be something. Oh, another one. I mean, right now this is not an amazing barrel of sludge board, so maybe we just top deck the, the trolley. Okay. Next turn here, power tra talk, maybe. Ugh. 
Perhaps, perhaps. We could even drop the imprisoned if we feel like it, but... Hmm. It's kind of messy. There is no actually good way of dealing with it. Well, I mean, the barrel sludge is not super bad, but if he does have the AoE again, we'll be sad. Maybe just trolley problem, hero power. I trolley or uh, again? Yeah, trolley plus hero power. Hero power of first No, 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 not in this case. <laughs> You can top deck a spell, you can top deck a frost plague. Yeah. In this case. Sometimes I'm catching myself still of thinking like, you know, in times when Death Knight doesn't exist. Yeah. Like, you know, order well, of things. I mean with discards, like it's it's always the rule. You always draw first unless you have a very good reason not to. And we had several good reasons not to here. Like, he could have top decked the Unholy Plague, the Frost Plague, both of those would have been a bummer for us, because the two, the four damage would have sogged the two. Well, uh, now it's the zero mana in Prisoner, and I have a turn, actually. Yeah, um, it's actually kind of good like that. Yeah, whip it out to soak up his stupid increase. I'm thinking I was sludging actually here. Like double trade sludge and stog. For six damage into face and developing the board. Mm. While, while cleaning his board. Mm. Kinda don't wanna trade Astalor though, like it gives him a one health minion to trade with a hero power, you know? So I'd rather just trade the one one and then Sludge, minus one damage, but plus one health for us. Actually, plus two health for us. And pass away, yeah. Okay, this board is somewhat resilient to his stupid uh, three damage AoE, but nothing the two mana spell can't fix. Seam cleaner, one day, one day will come. One day will come handy. Not so sure about that. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Very, very depressing turn for him, actually. Bobgar is how much, you say? It's almost there. Drop him down to 6 health, sadly. If we double trade, Bobgar gives us 11 damage total. 4 done. You know what would be the the boldest move here? Popcar into Trog. And everything That's fails. the only real lethal out, but that's nice. super far-fetched. Yeah. I don't uh, know, man. I think I, I can double trade here. Popcar and go face. Okay, okay, I'm okay with it. And you can also uh, maybe play the flame in, even though next turn that does cock block you for a easy finale. But it is what it is. <coughs> Isn't it lethal? It would have been if he was the lowest health enemy, but Sylvanas would have been the lowest health enemy there. He would have been at six health. Sylvanas would have soaked the sludges. Thaddeus still lives? Where? Say it ain't so. Team Cleaner exists, okay? It is a card. Yeah, it will it's... appear. <laughs> it's not a card anymore. 
Is that a finale for the tosser though? It is. <laughs> Good news is that doesn't clear shit for him, so he's still dead. Fuck. Well, let's just hope the tosser lethals. But that's pretty far-fetched, but it's the only real play we have. Sad. Wow. Didn't kill anything. Yep. Then 12. He has to have 9 more. Uh, with lags, possible, but he has a little. Let's see. Chaos creation out still looks pretty good. Close. Mm, think you gotta roll the dice on the hero pair, man. I think. Wait, we have uh, we have all the barrels though. That's guaranteed lethal right now. We have four sludges. I'm always yep. used to looking for them at the bottom. This is guaranteed lethal. Because we had exactly four, so nice. Told you. Yeah, it was <laughs> close. Yeah, finally, it took us only two and a half hours to see the steam painter shine, man. <laughs> Told you it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, man. Yeah. Well, it was definitely refreshing to uh, have some jams with you. Uh, thank you again for uh, for hiring. Really appreciate you. And uh, thank yeah, you so yeah. Cool. Right now, the deck is really, really worth taking a gander. Alrighty, man, have a good rest of your night, and talk to you soon.